I have been calling these my night stairs because these nightstands have been a nightmare. I picked them up for about $20 at an estate sale last year and the original owners had taken them from white to this teal blue color. Unfortunately, they were chipping, showing a lot of signs of wear and tear, and the drawers that you can pull out to put your books on or a glass of water had actually been painted shut. Because the pieces hadn't been prepped properly, I didn't feel comfortable putting my own paint on top of that for fear that it would end up chipping after about three months of use. And I didn't wanna sell anything that was not going to be quality work. So I started the long job of trying to prep them for new paint. Because the teal blue paint had been chipping so badly, I wanted to make sure that I got all of that paint off and that I had given myself a nice clean surface to start. I started by sanding the pieces down and that got quite a bit of the finish off, but it still wasn't where I was comfortable putting my paint on top of it. So I decided that I would try to citrus strip them to get the rest of the paint and finish off. Horrible decision, really. After smothering them in citrus strip and then wrapping them in plastic wrap so that they could have the longest amount of working time to try and get that paint off, I was left with what I would call a goopy mess. It ended up caking and getting stuck in all the beautiful details that I was trying to keep on these pieces and it ended up just being extremely frustrating for me. So with caked on citrus strip and all, they fell into furniture limbo, sitting in my mom's basement for the past couple of months. But I have a very hard time throwing away pieces of furniture that are perfectly usable. These could be completely beautiful and I am determined to get them there. But I think now is the perfect time to pull them out and work on them for the Celestial Antique Booth reset. I've already got most of the hard work out of the way on these pieces. A lot of it's just gonna be cleaning and getting that surface as smooth as possible so that I can put my primer and paint on them. What I wanna do first on these pieces is wipe them down with mineral spirits to get as much of that extra citrus strip off. And then I'm going to take a Dremel to all these beautiful detail pieces so that hopefully they aren't going to look like a gunky cakey mess like they do right now. So this nightstand has already been a little bit more prepped than the other nightstand. I did go ahead and sand down most of the sides to get them sort of to a smooth point, but there's still a lot of rough edges on them and the details still need cleaned out. So now I'm going to start sanding on these and see if we can get them down to a nice smooth finish for our primer. So my camera battery died on me yesterday, but I did do a bit of sanding on at least one of the nightstands and I'm kind of going to show you where I left off before I start sanding on the other one. I was able to sand down all of the sides and big trim pieces. I was even able to get into the small detail pieces. But up in this area with all the trim work is where I'm having the most problems because you've got these really tiny nooks and crannies to get into. I did take my Dremel into it a bit yesterday, but it is not wanting to come all the way out. So I did go grab a couple extra Dremel bit pieces to see if I can get this clean. This is going to be a lot of sanding.
I'm finally done sanding. <laughs> that was so long, it took so long. But I'm pretty happy with how they turned out. The first round of sanding was 120 grit sandpaper and then I went back in with 220 grit sandpaper to get them smooth and now I have to clean them off because they're extremely dusty and I'm extremely dusty. So let's get to cleaning. That is some gross water. We are finally at the point where we are ready for primer. And normally I wouldn't put primer onto pieces like this because I'm going to a darker color. We're going to be going to a dark blue. But because there are so many different finishes, there's wood exposed, there are different levels of paint, I'm gonna go ahead and put on a primer base. I'll probably put more than one coat on. That way we can sand down a little bit more, we'll get an even smoother finish, and then we can start our paint and I can feel good that the paint's not going anywhere. <laughs> All right, so it is now the third day that I'm trying to work on these and get these done. And this is going a little bit slower than I was anticipating. I am going to start by putting on a coat of primer onto these right now going to let it dry, probably do a second coat of primer and then do a sanding in between before I do the actual paint color. What I'm gonna be using is this Zinzer 123 water-based primer, usually one of my favorites to use. And I do have a paint sprayer, but I don't wanna worry about putting that all together right now. So we're just going to use a handy dandy brush and see how far we can get on these. Give it a good stir. She's a little thick. Might water this down a little bit. Just got a tiny bit of spring water here. Uh, put that, out. Eh, that much in. <laughs> Not much. Maybe an eighth of a cup. Yeah, that feels better. All right, let's get started. We are back again. I think it is day four of working on these at this point. I did get a second coat of primer done off camera. So now the only thing that there is left to do is do a very light sanding on both of them. I know, more sanding. <laughs> but I wanna make sure it's a smooth finish. So we're gonna do a little bit more sanding on these and then it will be time, finally, for paint. For this go around, I am going to be using my surf prep sander and you might say, Amanda, if you had this the first go around, why did you not use your surf prep on the piece the first time? Funny story, <laughs> I left it at a client's house that I'm working on a piece for them and I had to go get it, so I have it now. <laughs> This should make sanding a heck of a lot faster and hopefully I can get this stuff taken care of. It is the part that I have been waiting for for a long, long time. It is time for paint. And I'm actually going to be using this paint by Fusion Mineral Paint. It is an all-in-one, so I don't have to do any kind of top coat on it. It should seal it off. And I'm doing this beautiful like midnight blue color. I have been wanting to use this color for a while and I specifically saved it. I haven't tried this one yet for these nightstands. 
Now I'm not sponsored by them, but I really do enjoy using this brand. So we're gonna go ahead and get the first coat onto these nightstands. So I got the first coat done on these nightstands, but it is now almost nine o'clock at night. I've been working on these things in like two hour intervals every single day, and it's starting to be a lot. So I think unfortunately we're going to have to have a day five and I will come back and finish these tomorrow. I will put a second coat on. I will do a final sanding of both of the pieces so that they're nice and smooth. And then we will put some hardware on and they should be ready to go. I'm excited to see these finished and I will see you tomorrow. So I got the final coat of paint onto these nightstands and I'm so happy with how the color turned out. But as you can see, you can't really see the detailing on it. So um, one of the reasons that my business is called Gilded Goods is because I usually like to put a little pop of gold on everything. So I've got some rub and buff and I think I'm gonna go ahead and rub and buff those details just so they pop out a little bit. These are the little knobs that went on these pull out table pieces here. And you can see that they started chipping and they've got Robin's egg tealy blue on them. So I think I'm actually going to rub and buff them to match the detailing. Then we will be getting close to being done. to do is put drawer pulls onto the drawers for these nightstands and I have this set. I think I'm going to put these on and see how they look. some of this contact paper that has like constellations on it and I think it would be perfect to line the drawers of these nightstands with so I'm gonna add some of this contact paper and I think that will finish everything up. Well, I think I was able to take the nightmare out of these nightstands. The finish turned out great. I love the color and the gold accents with all the stars and kind of nod to the celestial theme make it feel really elegant. If you're new to this channel and really like furniture flips like this one, I would really appreciate it if you joined our little Gilded Goods community and hit the subscribe button. You can also hit the notification bell and you'll know the next time that I upload a video, which should be rifting together again for the antique booth. Thanks for joining me on today's project and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.